Cinderella in the Big City When she finished school, a young woman from a village decided to move to the city to study fashion design. Her aunt, who was a dressmaker and who lived with her two daughters, let her stay with them in her apartment. But the cousins, who were jealous and also wanted to be fashion designers, were not happy. Once, when the young woman got the best grades, her cousins envied her success, and they blew charcoal on her as a joke. <laughs> it's as if you're covered in ashes. So, they gave her the nickname Cinderella. Cinderella kept studying, but her cousins didn't try so hard. And when one day, a famous designer decided to throw a party, to choose the best fashion designer in the world. They wanted to take advantage of it. The invitations will be sent to their homes to invite them to participate in the competition. The aunt received all four invitations, but since she favored her daughters, she hid Cinderella's invitation. Girls. You will wear your best dresses tonight and say they were made by you. Sorry, Cinderella. There are only three invitations and you won't be able to go with. Cinderella was upset. And the night of the party, she helped her cousins put on the dresses made by her aunt. But when she was left alone, she found her invitation and had to figure out something very quickly. Using the curtains, scarves and ribbons, Cinderella made herself a beautiful dress. And since she had no shoes for the party, she lined her slippers with the gold fabric of the cushions. She also put on a mask so that her aunt and her cousins wouldn't recognize her. When she arrived at the party, the designer discovered Cinderella, the best dressed young woman he had ever seen. And so he invited her to dance. Who is she? Her dress is ridiculous and looks like the curtains at home. Enchanted by Cinderella, the designer wanted to find out who she was. What is your name? You are the best dressed woman in the whole world. Mm, I can't tell you my name. When the party was over, Cinderella ran away to get to the house before her aunt and cousins did. As she was running down the stairs, she lost her slipper. That was how the famous designer began looking for the owner of the shoe. With the guest list, he arrived at Cinderella's aunt's house. I would like your daughter to try on this shoe, please. I am looking for its owner. For the older one, the slipper was too small. For the little one, it was too big. Tell me, where is your third daughter? Oh, I only have two daughters. But I sent out four invitations. There has to be someone else. Cinderella peeked out shyly. And when he tried the slipper on her, it fit perfectly. You were the best designer at the party, Cinderella. I would really like for you to come and create dresses with me. Cinderella thought about it carefully. But I just started studying. I prefer to stay here with my cousins and my aunt. You prefer to stay with them despite the harm they did to you? I can forgive them. They were jealous, but now they've learned that it's useless to deceive others and to try and take advantage of them. And so, from that day on, Cinderella and her cousins studied together and teamed up to design the best dresses in the world.